What's happening, Tube Nation? Welcome back to my Black Universe. It's your boy, Big Vic. Real quick, we need to talk about the NX Pro Plus. So I use it as my daily driver. The first thing I want you to do is when you get yours, you go into the settings, go straight down to emergency, and turn off the triple power function for emergency call. You don't know how many times I accidentally called the authorities, and the one time they actually called me back. Embarrassing. Not something you want, especially you have a child who's using your phone and they're just pressing around with the buttons. You don't need that in your life. Let's get into the video. the unboxing which I'll link in the description below so I'll put a card up here the first thing I said was I don't know about this phone I pretty much said I don't know about this phone it had a lot of hiccups it needed a software update which thankfully as I was downloading my apps there was a software update that uh, became present and I was like cool let's do that because you saw that the camera function wasn't really working like it needed to did that camera functions in and so now let's go through the phone some of its features if you go in to settings, let's go all the way to the bottom. You see it about phone is NX20 Pro 1, which is the NX20 Pro Plus. This, of course, is the limited edition with the cotton candy back. Above that system, you have services and preferences. You have the digital well being and parental controls. So if you're a parent, you're minus for your child, you can set up parental controls. Right below underneath the digital well-being where you can also set that see that and it shows you how often you're on your phone how many times you unlock it how many notifications you have so if you find yourself on your phone a lot you can uh, kind of keep that in check with that you also have a smart control you got the phone that you're accustomed to lifting the phone up and it wakes up and you're not seeing that you actually have to go into this phone and turn it on it doesn't come on standard it's default off just go into smart controls hit the toggle for lift to check phone Flip back out of it. Let's go to the next setting. You have accessibility, screen reader display, interaction controls. So what I did is I did switch to my Nova launcher because it's already set up. I was able to save the um, the way I had it set up on my OnePlus 7 Pro, upload it to a cloud server, download it, go into Nova launcher, set that as my default, upload that, and then just move certain apps accordingly. Because OnePlus has their own phone app that they use with its own design. Also their own text message and camera app that they use with their design. So you have to take those that are in this phone, move them to the home page, put them in there, delete the other ones, you're good to go. If you go up to security, this phone does have, of course, you can use a pattern or a pin. And you have face authentication. So let's talk about that real quick. Face unlock. Works faster than the fingerprint. I know, I know, I know. Typically, fingerprint is much faster, but you hear it? There we go. Fingerprint. And that's kind of been my experience, but the one thing with face unlock that you'll notice, it doesn't have a low light feature where when you're using it at night, you're in your car, you're driving and you press the button, you lift it up. It's looking for you, but because it doesn't flash the screen and light up like the OnePlus uh, 7 Pro does, it won't find you. So you have to use your fingerprint. That's fine. Just a minor convenience. Remember, this is a $200 phone. Above that, you have your location. You go in there and uh, change your location permissions for certain apps. You have privacy. Um, you can have it show the passwords. You can go in and manage the apps that are using your microphone. So if you don't want to be listened to, I would suggest doing that. Above that is your storage. So you can see how much of your storage you're using up. I have 94.96 gigabytes free. Out of 128, you have your sound. 
which once again, let's go into this. This phone does get real loud for having one speaker. So that's a good thing to have. Your battery, uh, which shows you when your battery should last about 8.30. And I'm not sure if that's indicative of your usage um, and how much is going on in the background. But you want to think like power saving optimization, um, app standby optimizer, closed app after screen lock, auto launch management, power intensive apps. You can go there and uh, change the settings as you like to make the most of your battery life. You have apps and notifications. So you see your recent apps used, uh, your screen time, your default apps that you have going, and your advanced uh, permission manager where you can go through certain apps that need special permissions. You can give those apps that access. Above that, your connected tools. Your, I'm sorry, your connected devices. It's your standard Bluetooth. And one thing I noticed with the Bluetooth on this device, the connectivity is not the best. Uh, we know with Bluetooth devices, if there's something between... We know with Bluetooth devices that if there's something physically between the device that it's Bluetooth transmitting to and the source, it's going to become real choppy. Of course, the further away you get. Uh, one thing I noticed when I was using the H20s with these, with this phone rather, and when I was doing movement and there was nothing physically between the device and the headphones and I'm moving around, the, you, the uh, music would sometimes become choppy, it would become real digitized. So that's one thing I didn't like, but once again, we have to meet our expectations for a $200 phone. And if you go back, then above that you have network and internet. So you can connect to the Wi-Fi. Uh, as you guys know, I am not happy at the fact that I can't pick up on the 5 gigahertz network with this device. I can only get the 2.4 gigahertz network. Now this phone, I was real critical about it at this price point. But I sit and think, like, who this phone be for? Those who want the latest and greatest, this is not a phone for you. But somebody who wants a good phone for everyday usability, you really just make phone calls, text messages every now and again. You jump up on YouTube, IG, and Facebook. And this phone works for you. If you're somebody who, or if you have a child, they're just going through these seven hundred to a thousand dollar phones, they just keep breaking them. This is the phone you would get them. It's adequate. It works because one thing I noticed when I was using the phone more often, it seemed to start learning me and it started becoming, I wouldn't say necessarily say faster, but it started optimizing itself to certain apps I would use. So it would, uh, it would have as many hiccups as you saw in the initial view where when I hit the fingerprint sensor, it take like a half second to respond. If I go into an app and take a half second to respond, it became more livable as I was using the device and not as noticeable. Of course, it's not a $700 phone, so I'm accustomed to that, and I still notice those things. They are more of a minor nuisance as opposed to a deal breaker when it comes to this device. Now, for those of you who like gaming, I will suggest that you not necessarily get this phone if you're into graphic intensive games like Call of Duty or EVM. I would stick more to Clash Royale, Brawl Stars. You can actually do Pokemon Go if you want to do it on this device, but I, would, I wouldn't I would use a lot of graphic intensive games that require a lot of shading, 3D imaging, and stuff like that. I would stick to the more of the 2D games, and this performs well under those circumstances. Now, I did get some slow motion footage for you. We're gonna show that.
take several pictures said could I recommend this phone actually yes I can it looks cool when you pull it out it does draw a bit of attention and for the price it's not that bad now would I gladly spend 30 to 50 dollars more to get a better chipset to optimize what's going on here as far as the memory and the RAM honestly I would and that's my take on that hit the subscribe button the notification bell like and share. Until next time, peace and blessings. I shake.